Hello and welcome to CN Data Structures training session. In this session, we are uh, going to do some practical examples uh, for structures and unions. So, um, in this session, we will be writing a very simple program to input uh, records of a student and then we'll be printing it accordingly. So, uh, let's assume uh, what all parameters or what all things does a student record have. A student record uh, contains student name, student age, student roll number and etc. So we will be considering only th uh, these three parameters. We will be taking input from user and then printing it accordingly uh, so that uh, uh, it can be displayed in a uh, user visible uh, manner. Uh, you, with this uh, example, you will be getting uh, more hands-on practice on how to use structures and uh, in further sessions, which is followed by, uh, which we will be using in data structures and all, we will be using structures a lot. So this will help you in getting more and more understanding on structures. So let's get started. So let's uh, create a file for uh, this program. Let me get a student record dot c okay hash include We have a max uh, value. The max value will be defining how many number of records do we want to have. This will be our counter. Uh, so before that, we have to define a structure. So uh, how the structure will be? Let's define it. Struct student. Okay, so name. Let's say it has a twenty. It has twenty characters max. Then age. Roll number. Okay. So let's use this structure. Let's define an array of structure struct student say s element i am defining it as uh, number of number of array elements is equal to whatever is declared in max so it will be like this now let me run a loop equal to zero i less than max i plus plus printf enter scan at percentage s s of i dot name here we are referring uh, the ith index of this array and the name attribute okay scan f d m percent of s of i print f roll number of
NF percentage D and percent S of I I at I ith position we will be getting roll number. Okay, so this way we'll be getting uh we'll be initializing the array of structures with the given uh input by user. So let's write a loop again to print all the values. That's I plus plus. Okay, so here we'll be giving printf uh, name will be percentage s a will be percentage d uh, roll number will be percentage d and then we'll be printing dot roll number okay so that will be printing in a clear form okay so this is a very simple program to uh, demonstrate how to use a structure so let's try to uh, compile and run the program So the program is compiled successfully. Let's run it. So enter the name of student. Say A. I'm giving a say only one character. You can give up to 20 characters. Enter the age of student. So let's 21. Enter the roll number. Say 20. Say 1. Okay. So one record is here. The one record is completed. Okay. Now this uh, starts printing the second record. So enter the name of student you can give anything enter the name of student enter age enter the name of student age age number again age roll number again name number So, uh, at this position, we have completed our uh, process of getting the input from user, and here we are printing all the records, all the student mm -hmm. records. So we can perform any type of operation uh, on the set of records. Here I am just printing it in a user-readable format, a, a kind of a tabular format, like this, where name, age, and roll number are displayed like this. Uh, I'll recommend you to try this uh, example on your own and try uh, multiple variants. Uh, do some uh, do some logic around whatever uh, how whatever you want. Like for example, you can uh, sort the uh, records based on the age, or you can sort the record based on the name, or you can print the record in a reverse order. Or uh, find a maximum, uh, find a record where uh, name of the student uh, starts with A, and find the record where age of the student is greater than twenty, or something like that. So it's up to you. The um, you can try any combination of uh, uh, of this problem, and uh, only by trying this problem you can get more and more understanding on how to use structures and all. So. Uh, I hope this uh, problem uh, 
or this example is good enough to uh, make sure that you uh, have a basic understanding of structures so this brings us to the end of the session i hope you have uh, learned a lot about uh, structures and uh, how to use structures you can try more programs on your own so again thanks for joining the session i'm sure you enjoyed learning from this video please like the video and if you have any doubts regarding this video please comment us in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos do look out for other related videos in our playlist for more information visit our website now keep learning with intellipat